everyone, today I am going to make an ashtray and for that I am using this hole punch and I rolled out some red clay in the thickest setting on my pasta machine and I'm just carefully pushing this little hole puncher through and then we are going to use this little part right here. I made a few more in black and in blue as well, then bake it. Here there are all my baked bottoms for this ash tray. Now we are going to make the top and for that I uh, rolled out some black clay in a setting 3. I'm using a tiny bit of bacon bond on the baked part here and then I'm using the same uh, cutter that we used before to cut out a circle here in this clay rolled out on a setting 3. And I am just gonna shape it a tiny bit with my fingers here, place it on top of the bacon bond. And then I have this tool with a rounded end, end that I am just going to squeeze into the middle so I get this raised edge on the rim of this little ashtray like that. Then I have a paintbrush that have a totally flat end and I'm going to use that um, to define the inside circle here. You see how I'm just going along the edge of this uh, raised bump. I'm sorry you don't see it that well because my hands are in the way, but I am going to show you here. That was the flat end of my paintbrush. And I'm just gonna make sure I have a nice flat inside part and the brim on top. Then I have this uh, cutter that is a tiny bit smaller so it actually fits into the little inside of the uh, ashtray here. And I cut out a tiny piece in um, some black clay that I rolled out on, I think it was the smallest settings. Uh, on the past machine or the second smallest. And I cut out these two small triangles from this little circle and I place them um, next to each other like this or on the opposite side of each other I actually think like that. And I place them carefully where I want them to be. Just making sure they are lying perfect. Then I am going to take a little of the black clay here and roll a snake of it. Just like this. Cut out a tiny piece. And use that for the thing you uh, push down when you want to open the ashtray. Please do know that I am totally against smoking. I have a very bad asthma myself and smoking would kill me. And I really don't understand why people would do this to their lungs. Uh, so please, this is just a request and I'm doing it for a friend. So here it is. I'm using some silver ink and painting the whole top of this little ashtray with the silver. So there is no um, black part visible except from the little handle that is peeking up there. I leave that black, but everything else, whoops, everything else is going to be painted with silver. Well, then I have to make some cigarette as well, and I really don't um, enjoy making cigarettes. Again, I think they are crappy, but I have this little straw piece here. It's a very dry piece of straw. And I'm starting with painting it white. If you don't have anything like this, you could use a piece of white clay and roll it out to a very thin snake and then bake that before you continue. When this paint has dried, I am cutting out these small pieces around 6 millimeters per piece of this. And I'm just cutting as many that I need. When that is done, I am going to take my yellow paint and painting the very tip here on one end of these, just the tip. 
And that is all there is for these small cigarettes. So now we can glue them all in place. I'm just taking my super glue gel, putting a tiny dab of it on the tip of this little cigarette and placing it on the ashtray. You can paint the other end of the cigarette with a little black uh, paint just to make uh, it look like it have been smoked a bit. Um, again, I am not advising anyone to smoke. I rather you don't do that. But here it is. For every one of you that have a resin printer, I made a STL for printing this in resin and I will leave that in the info box below that is a link for that so that is all there is for today thank you for watching and happy crafting